Hi, I'm Carrie Weber, Assistant Editor for America Magazine. This week, in our current comments section, we're discussing uranium mining. Recently, President Obama pledged $8 billion in federal loan guarantees for the building of reactors in Georgia. What he hasn't spoken much about is where the uranium to run these reac reactors will come from. One possible location is the Arizona One mine. It's located within a strip of mines on the northern rim of the Grand Canyon, about 10 miles from the rim. Denison Mining is a company from Canada who has recently begun mining there again after a hiatus of about 20 years. One of the things that's motivated Denison Mining is a rise in uranium prices. Uh, now it's expected that about eight, t eight trucks per day carrying 20 tons of uranium each could be hauled out of the Grand Canyon's rim. The mining companies argue that the uranium will help to power cleaner, more efficient forms of energy through nuclear reactors. However, environmentalists take a different approach. They see the mines themselves as potentially damaging to the environment and to the health of people who might be, near the, be living near the mines. In 2008, in an area within five miles of the Grand Canyon, there were approximately 1,100 mining claims there. This is up from 10 in 2003. In the five states where mining is allowed out west, there are more than 43,000 claims. Uh, now, Denison Mining is hoping to make some money off of these claims, but you have to wonder if it's worth the cost, uh, the environmental cost and the potential health uh, risks to those involved. A ban on new mining claims has been imposed for the next two years while the environmental and health impacts are assessed. However, because Denison's mining claim was pre-existing, they're allowed to go forward with this type of mining. Over 50 years ago, uranium mining began on the Navajo Reservation in northern Arizona. There, the Navajo people unknowingly built some of their traditional homes called hogans with dirt floors made of dirt that was contaminated with uranium. Sheep today can still be found grazing on land that has radioactive residue. Prolonged exposure to these radioactive materials is thought to cause disease such as cancer and birth defects in those exposed. A recent U.S. geological survey found that 95% of the water near formerly mined areas of the Grand Canyon is in fact drinkable. But that means that 5% is not, and we need to ask ourselves if that is good enough. The U.S. needs to work to clean up the old mines to make sure that those are secure and to secure the safety of those living near them and to ensure that the new techniques are safe and secure before moving forward with new claims. From America Magazine, this is Carrie Weber.